Hello and welcome to a new series that I'm going to be calling Minecraft Never Survival. The Minecraft 1.16 snapshot came out not too long ago and I thought it would be interesting with these new things that they have added to make a survival series in the nether. Not in the overworld, in the nether. I have made it so that in this world I am actually not able to go through the portal. If I go too through the portal there's just a bedrock room and I can't do anything. And I'm in survival and I can't break bedrock so yeah that's that. Um, there is a few rules, quote unquote, I suppose, or things with this. Um, I tried getting a way to respawn in, in the nether because I don't want this to be like a hardcore series. I just want it to be a normal survival series, but in the actual nether. So that's what we're going to be doing. So what I have done is, as I said, I have made a bedrock room on the other side of this portal and where I will be respawning if I die so I could go back through. But the rule is I am not allowed to go back through the portal to the other side. I may only go from the old world in here if I die. And again, if I die, I spawn in a bedrock room and I can't do absolutely anything. I just thought this would be an interesting series um, to do with the new stuff that they have added in the nether update because I believe it is now actually possible to survive because we have wood, we have food, aka mushrooms and run flesh and such and aka mushroom right there. Um, so yeah, I think this would be very interesting and we will continue it um, with g the ongoing snapshots of the nether and such so we will get new content as well, new features and such as we progress in this series. So this, I I'm pretty excited about this. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments if you have any suggestions and such. And uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. I have not played around with a new nether update yet, so I'm very excited. There is one final thing that I did allow myself to have from the beginning, which is eight cobblestone. Because there is no way for me to get cobblestone in the nether that I have thought about. I Because you can't find, oh no, you can't find <laughs> cobblestone in the nether and you can't bring water to the nether, so you can't make cobblestone using water and lava. So I think it is fair that I have eight cobblestone with me only. These are going to be so precious um, because I will, oh no, I need to get going here <laughs> because it will be the only way for me to make a, um, a furnace. So that is that. That is the only thing that I've allowed myself to get from the get-go. I mean, you might be wondering, well, what are you gonna do with like, you, aren't you gonna be stuck with like, oh no, iron tools and whatnot? Well, oh dear. Oh, sorry, wooden tools. And the answer is no, because of the other fortresses. I did check and iron ingots can actually spawn. Ha 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 ha, there we go can actually spawn uh, in nether fortresses. So that's that taken care of. And we have wood, so we can make crafting tables, sticks and whatnot. And we can make torches as such. So yeah, that's pretty cool. At least I think we can make torches. Uh, I don't remember how. We'll figure that out. <laughs> I don't remember exactly how, but let's get started. Also, I thought it would be interesting to survive in the nether, uh, nether, oh no. Oh no, nether surround and I'm dead, and I'm dead, and I'm dead already. In the nether surroundings, um, okay, this is gonna take a while. In the nether surroundings, um, and and build with the new nether blocks. It's gonna be interesting because before you didn't really have any block options. Now you actually do and have to make like you can design stuff. So that is cool, and I'm looking forward to that. Um. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get out of this sticky situation. I'm gonna have to punch my way through, I think. Uh, so yeah, this is this this could take it. This could take a little bit. I certainly feel like there's a lot more in them in in the. Uh, okay, that's first death. Now I can show you the spawn area. So this is like the spawn area where I will spawn if I die. So that was my first death. I was not careful enough <laughs> so that was that don't look at the enderman so let's let's get to surviving I've been 
talking for way too long here. So let's see what we got. Um, I actually that I did that too quickly. I need the cobblestone back. If I don't get the cobblestone, I'm not able to make a furnace. That is the only way I can make a furnace. That is the only way that I can make uh, actually progress if I find any of the new netherite, I believe it's called, netherite um, material to make armors and tools and such. And yes, it is actually able possible to get um, diamond. There we go. Get that, get that back. It is actually possible to get like diamond armor and such because diamonds do spawn in nether fortress chests. So that's cool. Um, so it's not going to be impossible to survive here. Now this is cool. We're going to need these for lighting. So I think the first episode is just going to settle, be settling in somewhere, get a temporary home where we are safe from guests um, <laughs> and safe from endermen. Obviously, we cannot make any glass, but we can make fence fences as windows. So that's actually pretty cool. We also have these mushrooms here, and we do need uh, to think of food. And I did see these red mushrooms right here. I'm going to grab a bunch of those. We will basically need to make a mushroom farm, because the mushrooms here will be our main way of actually having food, other than having to kill pigmen and piglets, I believe they're called, the weird little mobs. Um, so yeah, the mushrooms will be our main food source, at least for the time being. Um, yeah, I don't know if some other food source is going to be added down the road. Hopefully, but we will see. Alright, that is some wood. Um, I kind of want to try and get up here. I don't know what I'm thinking in terms of house building. But like, I would like to settle in like... You know what? I have a vision right here. I have a vision right here, right in this place. So let's actually get started right now. Warped planks. We can make crafting table. We can make sticks. Good. I don't remember how the torches are made. So that's something. Oh, I can pick that up. Okay, then. Hopefully I should be able to make tools with this. Let me see, so crafting table, two sticks, yeah, basically just functions like normal wood, so that's good. So let's get a sword, let's get some more of these, and let me look up real quick how to make torches, because I know that is in fact doable. Let me also make a shovel. We will be running off of wooden tools um, for the entire time, and let me make the furnace immediately. Uh, yeah, let me let me look up how to make the torches real quick. Okay, so we are actually not able to craft those because we require coal, which requires, again, another fortress. So another fortress is going to be key to our survival, I feel like. Um, but yeah, we have the basic tools. We can also make, let's make a chest. I'm going to make a double chest, uh, two chests rather. And we're going to need some more of this wood stuff. Now, I don't know, again, exactly what I'm going to do um, in terms of house what I should do. So I'm just gonna kind of like go with it and just make something temporary and we can expand on it in the future. All right, so we got that. Um, we definitely want to get a dark room for the mushrooms to be in. At least I assume they need a dark room. And I assume I can make bowls just like that. Sweet. We will need this. I want a door. These, I, I, love, I love the way these doors look. Unfortunately, can't see through them, but I love how they look. Also, this axe takes a long time to break stuff. Uh, is that a bug? All right, I place one door down and I break it and I get two back. Okay, yep, that's a duplication bug. <laughs> All right, then. Well, let me start clearing some of this stuff out. Is the shovel faster? No, it is the pickaxe. Okay. So, I'm thinking, clearing like a little bit of this. What about this weird stuff? No tool really... Oh dear. No tool really breaks this faster of those that I have. Maybe shears or something, but I don't know. Alright, so I'm thinking maybe doing something like this. Get rid of this. And I'm thinking maybe putting some fence around here too. Um... 
to protect myself from unwanted guests. So we might do that, but let's first get a place we can call home. I might extend this one over as well. So we can get a window or two in here, actually. Yeah, I feel like there is a lot more Endermen in the nether now, and that makes it... Ugh. That makes it a lot more dangerous for me. Let's get in here. All right, so at least I have these shroom lights. At least I was able to get my hands on those. All right, let me go oh, no. Last thing I need is that guy shooting at me. Okay, so let me get, okay, put it here. And let me see if I can <laughs> remember. No, nope, that's not how. Remember how to make, there we go fence. There we go. We can look, but nothing will happen. That's sweet. And we can put a door. All right. That, that, no, no. <laughs> okay. The nether is a dangerous place. <laughs> it is a very dangerous environment for a new survivor. And I don't mean, well, for a new wild person to Minecraft, yes, but also for a newly spawned person, <laughs> aka me. Uh, can I grab that without anything blowing up out here? Okay, goodbye. Okay, so far so good though. And I do wonder if the furnace is blast resistant. If it is, I mean that that's just that's just a that's a plus for us. So I mean that's good. Uh, I need another pickaxe. All right, this is actually fun. I've never done something like this before. At least netherrack breaks relatively fast, so that's good. I do need to start making some food. So let's make some mushroom stew if I remember how. Yep, that's how. All right, again. Okay, that's just an enderman. Again, I need to get a mushroom farm started ASAP. So I can only afford to use these mushrooms right here for another mushroom stew and I'm gonna place chests on the way back of this uh, temporary house right here because otherwise I risk of it getting blown up so one more layer should do it and I would like to see if we could maybe find another fortress as well um, but yeah I'm gonna place like chests here I'm gonna place the furnace not that I need it at all right now I don't need it at all, but just in case, I'm gonna put it over there where it's a little bit safer. And we might as well get these shroom lights to use. So place one there, place one here, one there, and one there. So we have light. Okay, so far, so good. We have that, we have this. I like to organize my inventory. Get that in there, and again, we need a dark room. So actually, do I have another door? Yep. If I didn't, I could duplicate it. <laughs> All right, so we need a quick mushroom um, place. Just a small one. So I'm thinking uh, maybe, maybe turning that off, because that's going to be annoying. I'm going to put this here. Uh, should we make it to the right, left? I'm gonna make it to the right. I want a a small room. Uh, these these pickaxes go by fast, because of course because it's wooden. So that's that's the thing. You don't have an everlasting pickaxe. I need another fortress fast. But yeah, I want a little room for me to grow some mushrooms, and I think this should do it. I just want a dark room. Since nothing bad can really spawn, so if I place a door, it seems very light in here. So I hope mushrooms will be able to grow. I mean, I will assume so since they get placed down. So that's a plus. I'm gonna ooh new sounds too. All right, I'm gonna take these because those are these are actually more building blocks, right? So I'm gonna take a few of these. Um, very slow mining. I wish we could make tools with this. That would be, um, with the quartz, that would be like a little bit maybe under the stone tools or something. 
but still a little bit uh, better than the wooden tools. I wish that was a thing. Or maybe with the netherrack, I don't know. Alright, I mined all the nether quartz from that area. Hopefully these are gonna grow. Um, we'll see. I'm gonna close that, so that is going to be uh, for the mushrooms. I think it's time for a little bit of exploration, and I do need more wood. I do want to see if I can get, um, if I can maybe spot a fortress nearby. But first, I want to, you know what, some red trees uh, wouldn't hurt either, actually. And I know, well, there's one right here. So that's going to grow eventually, I think. Um, I don't think this, like, goes away. Uh, let's let's yeah, let's head over here and let's see what we can find. Maybe we'll find some more trees and such. Uh, what's this? What do we have here? Again, new block. What's this? Basalt. Okay, we can use that for building as well. I don't think like I can make walls or anything out of it. So yeah, that's just that. But that's cool. We have another building block. Um, I should have made a couple of pickaxes actually. Let me just grab a few of these, like, maybe like so. Yeah, 16 should do it. Oh, soul sand. You're gonna kill me. Oh, you can walk on the edge and you go fast. Okay, that's that's a neat little trick. Um, plenty of red mushrooms over there. I could, of course, just grow the mushrooms outside. Um, yeah, that that's another thing I could have done. I could make a mushroom garden out here, maybe. I don't know if that would work. Anyways, let's get back in here. We'll check on these when we get back. If they haven't grown, I'll try to grow them outside. But first, I'm gonna make um, a few wooden tools because I'm most likely gonna need them where we're going. Speaking of mushroom, I need another soup. So let's get that. I'm gonna wait till I have, I'm missing three hunger. And this also means I have to preserve um, my running and only run when I actually need it. Oh, there's a lot of red mushrooms over there. We're gonna go for those. Maybe see if we got something nearby. Of course, we also got, uh, I don't remember what they're called. Magma blocks, I think. And brown mushrooms up there, cool. Food source secured, and I do wanna develop a little bit more on the house, but I do wanna just see, well, I wanna grab those up there, the mushrooms. And then I do wanna see if, we can find a fortress. Plenty of more brown mushrooms over there. That's good. And get these. I'm not gonna take all three. I'm gonna take two. I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna take this one and hope that they do spread a little bit. Uh, just so I don't run myself dry here. And this is one of the red forests. Let's see if I can make it across without dying. Uh, so this looks cool. Give me some of these. Uh, if you shift on these, you don't take damage. So that's good. That is good. Uh, I see a chicken, actually. You know what? I see a chicken. That is another... F actually, I don't think I want to kill it. Uh, mm, I don't think I can get seeds. You know what? Just in case I can get seeds, I'm going to preserve this chicken. All right. Uh, was that glowstone right at the side here? Yeah, that's close to the right to the side. I'm gonna get that just in case I find a use for it. And more brown mushrooms. The reason why I, I'm leaving the chicken alive is just in case they add like a seed or something um, to the nether that I can get my hands on and then eventually we'll be able to breed chickens. Then that would be pretty amazing. Now you are gonna be an issue. Because if I hit one of these pigmen, oh dear, I take a lot of damage. Uh, I think the safest thing for me to do is to run and not be near where it shoots. Yeah, I'm gonna run in here. Okay, I think we'll be somewhat safe in here. I do want a little bit of this wood because it looks cool. This is the red wood that we can get, so that's cool. Get a little bit of this. Oh, it's right there. It's gonna shoot at me, isn't it? I'm gonna make actually a bunch of soup, um, oh no, a bunch of soups in advance. Soup, a bunch of soup, a bunch of soups. I think it's a bunch of soup. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
<laughs> I'm not quite sure. Uh, there goes my PX, so that's 16 of that. Uh, I'm gonna run over here. I don't think we will get a fortress in this direction, because it seems like a pretty dead end. So I think I'm just gonna hold off on that. And head home, if I can, without dying. So that should be interesting. I'll get home, if I can, without dying. And we will do a little bit more at the home. And then... No, no. Close. Slow soul sand. Gotcha. There's gonna be a lot of those. And I can't get a bow. So I have to keep dealing with them like that. Alright, let's get home before something else happens. And I want to add a little bit more to the home. If possible. And I don't know if these things will grow on their own. Ow. I'm hoping they will, but I'm not quite sure. Another, I guess another plus with having Endermen here is that we can kill them and get Ender Pearls that can potentially save our life. So, I mean, that's, that's a plus, right? I'm gonna remove this a bit to clear this out. And I think that I might add some fence and a fence gate. Uh, not sure how much good that will do me, but I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, oh, I didn't get more of the normal wood, did I? The... You know what? Let's make the fence then red. Let's make it red. Um, I'm gonna use some to get some sticks. I'm gonna get like, I don't know, nine? Nine, maybe? Uh, cri oh, crimson. Okay. Let's see, how well does that fit? Not the best fit. I would like the blue more, I think. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I mean, it's not too bad. This bugs me. That bugs me a lot. Maybe we can just, like, move it over. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Let's make a crimson uh, fence gate here. Like so. And I think that will be our house. Oh dear. Our house in the um, in the nether for now. I'm gonna get a little bit of this stuff. All of this, I think, actually. Or just a bit of it. Like so. I'm not sure if it spreads or not. And I kind of want to remove this to have that texture instead. There we go. I'm going to leave that there just to see if it spreads. I'm not sure if it will, but we'll see. All right. Not, not too bad, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say it's too bad. Uh, do I have more crimson fence? I would like to add some over here too, just, just to prevent... Uh, stuff to get in here so I can actually have a little bit of security. So let me make some more. I think six should do it. So do that. And then do... Ah, need a bit more. Uh, need a bit more. And there we go. We should have this place for ourselves now. So that's pretty cool. Uh, these are gonna bug me. And replace this final one right there. Alright, and you know what? I'm gonna take one of the red uh, shrooms, saplings, or whatever you want to call them. I'm gonna take this one. Crimson Fungi? That's an interesting name. And I'm gonna place it in the front yard. I'm gonna take two of these, actually. Just to decorate it a bit. Might as well live a little bit in style. Put that there. And like put some of this here as well, like so, just just to give it a little bit of of texture. I think that looks really nice actually. I like this, and I think with that, I'm gonna call it here. Have these spread? No, they have not. That could be a potential issue. I'm gonna take two of these and two of these. I'll close the door. And I'm going to place them out here on this bit instead to see if they will grow or spread, sorry. So let me get rid of that. Place two. 
and see how that goes. All right, well, oh, that, that. If it has to be, it has to be. Give me, oh, then there's gonna be a hole there. And there we go. Yep, that's gonna do it for now. That, that's gonna do it for now. It's gonna do it for now. Uh, that's gonna stay there. All right. I'm gonna dig probably this wall out, I think, maybe. Uh, just to get a little bit more space. Not that we really need it. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably gonna do that. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. Leave your thoughts down below. Do you like this? Is it a cool idea? Is it weird? Um, is it interesting? Is it exciting? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I certainly f feel like this is interesting. It is something that I haven't done before and I would love to continue. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. It shows me that you did enjoy it and leave a comment with suggestions or whatever. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.